Hi, it's me, the Apprace for Fun. Let us review the newest skimmer in town, the Oase Crystal Scheme 350. For transparency's sake, I bought this thing with my own money. My own money. You hear that, Oase? So maybe hook me up? <laughs> Let me show you what's inside. Of course, I've already opened the box and I've used it for like a month or so. Here's what's inside. You will get the main unit itself and it's already pre-assembled. And I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but it's really nice and sexy. It's really small. And of course, I've got the OG Top Dog Skimmer right here. It's the Eheim Skim 350. And here is the Waze's new 350 skimmer. The new Waze Crystal Skim 350, it's a lot slimmer and smaller compared to the other product, which was the Eheim. It also came with this small tweezer. So what else is in the box? Well, you get these paperworks. You will also get this clear plastic mounting plate. I will be comparing the two which is the Eheim Skimmer 350 and the Oase Crystal Skim 350 in my future video. So if you don't want to miss out then I suggest you to subscribe. So what makes the Oase Crystal Skim 350 special or different from the rest? Well, unlike most skimmer makers out there, Owase is aware that you only want the surface scum and floating debris out of your tank and not including the live stock. And so they have devised this simple yet so genius modular design. Okay, let me try and show you. Okay, so let's start with this one. If you remove the plastic guard right here, this will be really great for floating debris, say when you've just finished trimming your carpet or your plants. It's kind of okay when it comes to surface scum or oil film, but it's not so great when it comes to little livestock. Now, but if you add this little plastic guard right here, but no plastic crown, then it's really safe for your livestock. It's an okay job when it comes to like surface scum or oil film and it's gonna do an okay job when it comes to floating debris. Now, if you specifically want the crown instead of the guard, now this form factor I'd say is very similar to like 98% of the surface skimmers out there. It's really great for surface scums and oil films. It's an okay job when it comes to floating debris but it's not so good with your livestock as you may have experienced with other skimmers out there now finally just like the voltus 5 just like the power rangers just like freaking voltron himself if you combine them all together then <laughs> you get this it's really great for service com it's safe for your livestock and it's gonna do an okay job when it comes to floating debris. Okay, is that all? Is that everything that makes this skimmer special? Well, adjusting its strength is made just a bit more accessible by simply twisting this bit right here. Less power, more power baby! Less power, more power baby! Well, now that I know that, is that everything that differentiates the Owase Crystal Skim 50 above everything else? Well, no, not yet. Well, instead of pushing the water out like this, it pushes the water down. This is where the water outflow is. I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but it's in the bottom. So instead of pushing the water horizontally, it's gonna push the water downwards. Ooh. Now, if I'm gonna be truly honest with you, I kinda don't like it. If you have an aquascape that has sand as its primary substrate and it's a little bit on the shallow side, it could blow things away. 
So, here comes another example. If you have a not so mature carpet plants that you've just planted and your tank dimensions are kind of on the shallow side and you wanted to use an external or separate skimmer product like this one, it might blow the plants away. Which for me personally is kind of like its downfall and um, or its weak point. Well, compared to what I'm used to at least. As an aquascaper, I'm not really super familiar with any other products that blows water downwards. It either blows water across or horizontally or it could like redirect the water flow upwards towards the surface. So if you have like a 60p or something bigger, then it should be okay. 45 and smaller. Well, you could potentially have problem with this blowing downwards. My personal suggestion for Owase, if you are listening and I hope you are, maybe you can just remove the tweezer bit inside the box and instead replace it with a different attachment. And since this thing right here on the bottom can be removed, what I can personally suggest is dispose or take away this plastic tweezer and instead use a different attachment wherein you attach it right here and it blows water forward instead of downwards. Just replace this plastic bit right here with something else with a different plastic attachment wherein instead of blowing water downwards, it will blow water horizontally just like any other skimmers out there remove this and provide a different attachment don't get me wrong these tweezers are a nice touch but i think with a different attachment wherein you have a different outlet that pushes water forward it's a much more welcome update or addition okay so will i recommend the Oase crystal skim 350 yes definitely it's a big yes as long as you can live with its like minor faults, like blowing water downwards, and as long as it wouldn't really affect your aquascape, then yes, go for it. Is it better than its biggest competitor? We'll see. Don't want to miss out? Then I suggest you to subscribe because in this channel, I talk about aquascaping, fish keeping, and a bunch of different tips and guides on how to be a better aquarist. That's it for me. Bye.